What's up, traders? I'm the Inner Circle Hotshot. I am not an educator. My educator is ICT. For free education, check out his YouTube channel, The Inner Circle Trader. With that being said, this channel and video is for entertainment and my own learning purposes only. This is not financial or trading advice. I am not a financial or trading advisor. Please trade at your own risk. Now, you're going to learn how to master ICT daily bias in this video. This is going to be a checklist that I put together and I believe is pretty solid. This is how ICT interprets daily bias. I've watched plenty of videos. And if you're asking yourself, what is daily bias? This is the next draw on liquidity. You want to try to get a read on where price is more likely to draw to next. Is it going to draw higher to an old high? or lower to an old low. And until it reaches that, you stay with that bias. This allows us to go in each day and anticipate either an up close or down close candle in alignment with that bias. I apologize for the background. My dog is going crazy and playing with his new toys. <clears throat> Anyways, if we go to, uh, you know, an empty chart, let's just say that we scrunch it down let's just scrunch it down to where we have no idea what's going on and i'm going to go back in time if you know the replay tool you know that we can replay price from here and we could play to see what the future is doing now we obviously have no idea what what price is doing at this point we scrunched it up we went back in time and we replayed it so we have no idea what price is going to do ahead okay but if we take our rules we go ahead and apply them. Let's go ahead and do that. So step one, read daily bias. First, identify the most previous run on liquidity. This is an obvious swing high or low. And from that point, recognize what phase daily price is in. Is it retracing, reversing, expanding, which ICT says is spooling, which is actually the best phase to go in and hunt for what's explained below here. Um, but if none of these three, none, no retracing, reversing, or expanding, it's deemed consolidation. And until we can recognize a different phase, our bias will be neutral. But this allows us to know what kind of candles to anticipate. So um, <clears throat> identify the most previous run on liquidity, obvious swing high or low. Okay. So if we go and identify the most previous run, this was ran... <clears throat> This hasn't been ran. It hasn't been ran. So from here, it ran out, created a high. Market structure shifted. Why did market structure shift? Because this was a market structure shifting point. This is a valid swing right here. If you don't know that, go watch ICT's 2022 mentorship. You'll learn that. Um, and price actually, once it swung here, it took out this liquidity here. Once it took it out, it reversed. So price reversed. After that, it retraced back up into this order block here. Rejected from that order block here. Price then targeted this liquidity. And ultimately targeted this liquidity as well, because this is a fair value gap. And fair value gaps are also a form of liquidity, as well as these swings. You can see that there's a little bit of this little fair value gap right here. And price hasn't ran out here. Right. But after price ran and filled in these fair value gaps, rebalanced these imbalances, price then turned around. And what is it? what kind of phase is this? This is a retracement phase, okay? A retracement phase right here, price will likely, um, you wanna, <clears throat> you wanna mark out obvious swing levels, not the little minor swings and fair value gaps for price to target in its current phase. This is your draw on liquidity and your daily bias, bullish or bearish. So right here, as it's in a retracement phase, it's going up, and it's targeting this 
internal liquidity within its range, which is the fair value gap. And this fair value gap. And potentially it can continue up for a reversal and it could take out this liquidity here. So at the current moment, if I just erase all of this, this is all that matters right now. This is all that matters right now, okay? So at the current moment, price is in a retracement phase running into, this is our draw on liquidity. So currently it is bullish drawing into this liquidity, this liquidity, potentially this liquidity. So if price is bullish and the previous day was bullish, you wanna skip Sunday's candle, then the next day that we trade, we expect the previous day's high to be taken out and the previous day's low to be supported. In other words, <clears throat> there shouldn't be any movement below the previous day's low. Now, if price trades below the low, you want to wait for that day's candle to close. If it closes back above the low with like a long doji wick or something that doesn't show any significance of going down, then you hold the same bullish bias to trade towards the swing liquidity from step two, which is the fair value gap here, here, and this liquidity here. Okay. But if it closed below the previous day's low with a big bearish candle, then bias may be flipping, so go neutral. Not every day is going to be an up close candle, so we will hunt intraday with that in mind. And if a short opportunity arises, counter trend to this bias, we can dial back our risk or just not trade it. Best to learn to ignore these counter trend setups. This step actually lets us know what invalidates our bias and ideas. So if we go over here and just... <clears throat> We can see it right here. Price actually um, took out this high right here and took out the low here. So it took out both sides and it is reversing to retrace into this range, right? You can see that right here with this candle. And you can see that this low was supported. This high was ran out. <clears throat> so with this bias, we wanna see this low supported and this high wick ran out. So the way that price will do that will be, <clears throat> I wrote it here, price will, price will open due to swing, manipulation, create the wick, then distribution rallies to target the previous day's high. And ultimately that obvious swing high or low liquidity level, which is these levels here. Excuse me, I got some cotton now. So I anticipate that this next day's candle will come down, make a wick, rally, and take out this high right here. Let's see what it does. Okay, it rallied down. And this is Friday. So this next day, Monday, we want to see it take out this wick still. And hopefully support here. You want to see this hub taken out as well. Okay, so right now it seems like there's a little bit of indecisiveness. Both sides aren't getting taken out at all. This could be a new rule for us. I could be learning something new too here. So let's see what gets taken out. Boom, these highs get taken out. These lows were supported. They were not traded through at all. Highs get taken out. So now we could possibly see this low supported, this high taken out, as well as this high taken out. Let me just go ahead and delete this, delete this, delete this, delete this, and delete this. Let's see what happens. Okay, so price actually traded to both of these. And we are in a retracement area. So it's likely that price is going to reverse or turn around. Because again, remember what we said here. Very rarely do you see the previous day's high and low both traded through. If it does, it's usually indecisiveness where it's going to be a reversal soon and it's clearing the board on both sides of the marketplace. So when you see this, prepare yourself for a potential reversal. So bias in this situation will be neutral. 
our idea is invalidated. We will then redetermine the phase and where price is now headed. Okay, so let's see if it turns around. It rejects from this fair value gap and starts spooling, expanding towards this way. Let's see what happens. Okay, so <clears throat> right here, this candle closed. The wick didn't take out the low or the high. Closed within. Okay. Same thing with this candle. That's considered like consolidation. And now it just broke out. It broke the high here. The lows were supported. No lows were traded through here. Supported. Broke out. And now it just broke down. So right here, as soon as price broke down, traded through with this right here. <clears throat> this is where we say... Um, now, if price trades above the high, wait, or wait, that's if it's bearish, um, right here. Now, if price trades below the low, wait for that day's candle to close. If it closes back above the low with the long doji wick or something that doesn't show any significance of going down, then hold the same bullish bias to trade towards the swing liquidity. But if it closed below the previous day's low with a big bearish candle, then bias may be flipping. So go neutral. So right here, we are neutral because this is that big significance going down. Now, as soon as this candle creates that and it shoots down, it took out the low here. And this got supported. Boom. Now we can anticipate this low to be taken out, this high to be supported, and now we are redetermining that this is in, in an expansion phase, expanding, which is spooling, and this is actually the best phase to go in and hunt what I've explained to you here. So right now, our bias is now bearish since it is expanding to the downside it is spooling to the downside so we want to mark out obvious swing levels and the fair value gaps for price to target in its current phase this is your draw on liquidity and your daily bias so now price is drawing to here and really here because these are considered to be relative equal lows so will price draw into those lows well let's find out we want to see price open judas swing manipulation move rally distribution close down here take out the low supported with the high boom we can see that right here so now take out the low the high was supported now we can see here next day we're going to go in and look for a short again we're going to look to get short open Rally, we want to short, take it down, okay? Okay, so this is what happened. It got really close, but not support. Sorry, this is resistance. It's like resistance, but it's still supporting price going down, okay? But you can see that price opened, rallied up, Judas swing, manipulation move, sold off, took out the low. Now, we want to see this high act as resistance. We don't want to see it get traded through. And we want to see price take out this low here and ultimately take out this obvious swing low, relative swing lows right here. Okay, and this is your liquidity. Price traded within it. So it shows like a little bit of indecisiveness. Boom. Obliterated. And you can see that Price actually got supported here. Price did not trade above this high candle here. And price did not. Price actually traded below this low right here. Obliterated both days right here. Boom, boom, both day lows. Ultimately took out all the liquidity. Now, anytime daily runs out, sell side price, sell side liquidity, price is likely to either retrace back into the range toward internal liquidity which is like an internal swing high or low or fair value gaps 
or it's likely to reverse, which is going to be a market structure shift with a little bit of displacement or maybe an order block or with the fair value gap. So in this situation, we will wait for a three candle swing low to form. Then that very next day, which is a fourth candle, we will go in and target the previous day's higher low, the previous day's high in this case, and hold this new bias and begin from step two. So right now we want to see So that's where the swing is created right here. So this very next day, we want to see it close up. <clears throat> that very next day, we will go in and target the previous day's higher low. So now we will target this previous day's high, and we want to see this low supported. So in other words, we don't want to see this traded through. We want to see this traded through. So we want to see it open, due to swing, manipulation, rally, distribution, and hopefully close above there. If it closes below, that's okay too. But let's see. Boom. Open, due to swing, manipulation, rally, distribution, closed above. And now same here. We want to see this high get traded through and this low be supported. We don't want to see anything trade below. Now, where is it targeting? Well, there is a fair value gap here, a form of liquidity. There's a fair value gap here, another form of liquidity. So these are the nearest ones that we could see price draw into. So right now, what phase is price in? Price is actually in a reversal phase. Why is it in a reversal, you might ask? Well, According to ICT's 2022 model, this right here is actually a market structure shift. So price market structure shifted it is in a reversal phase. Price is likely to retrace back down into this fair value gap. The sorter blocks. Once it trades back into that, price is likely to take off and target this liquidity high that will be formed from the retracement and this and this. Let's see what happens. Okay, so price traded up into that fair value gap. That liquidity was ran. We could possibly see the retracement from here. Okay, so it retraced. What did it retrace down into? Well, there was another fair value gap formed whenever price ran into this fair value gap here. So once it was formed, let me delete these. Price traded back into it. We could have looked for on the smaller time frame. If you know how to do multi time frame, you could have looked for a buying opportunity on the smaller time frame, one hour, 15 minute. And you could have bought here to target, that's already been filled, to target, sorry, that was my dryer. Ultimately, this new liquidity, also this fair value gap here. So price is likely to expand now up into these two levels here. So right now our bias is bullish. So we anticipate this high to be taken out and this low to be supported. Let's see what happens. Boom, look at that, low is supported, high taken out, price is likely to draw up into there. What do we wanna see? This high to be taken out and this new low right here supported. Let's see what happens. Boom, so it opened, rallied down, took it out and it ultimately closed down here. Let's see what happens. Price has ran out this liquidity here there's still this whole fair value gap to fill, but with this run on liquidity, it's possible we could see price turn around, right? Let's just see what happens. Okay, so this low just got taken out. 
And right now, our bias is neutral. But at the same time, it also ran out this liquidity and it created that swing high right here. So this fourth candle is likely to open, Judas swing, manipulation up, rally, take this low out here. Let's see what happens. We're targeting this low. We want this high to be supported. Okay, now we were wrong. And you know what? It's okay to be wrong. Get over the concern about being right every time and put aside the idea of perfection because you're not going to have it perfect. You're not going to get it perfectly. Get out perfectly. Not going to have the perfect risk, the perfect asset, etc. You will always find reasons to be wrong. Embrace imperfection. Embrace the idea that you don't have to know everything. You don't have to be right. Being right is not equivalent to being profitable. That's important. This is in the words of ICT. So right here, we could have had a losing day. And that is totally fine. But now, at this moment, bias for me is neutral. Because price can run up into here. I mean, what phase is it in? It could be in a retracement phase. It could retrace down you know, into like an order block or something. Who knows what it just retraced into? Who knows if it's going to run out this liquidity or this fair value gap? Right now, if we take this off because it's rebalanced. Take this off. There's also this fair value gap down here and this liquidity here that price can target. So we just want to see what price can target next, okay? Let's see what this next candle does because right now with this candle, we are neutral. With this candle too, since it took out the low here and it didn't take out the high here, now we could possibly see it go down. Or if this gets taken out here, we could be neutral again too. See right now it's indecisive. This candle didn't even take out any high or low. It's indecisive. So it took out the high here. See, it's whipping out the lows, it's whipping out highs. So right now it's like clearing liquidity on both sides of the market. Boom. So what it did, it just broke out into this fair value gap. It targeted into this fair value gap. Bias could be bullish. We could potentially see price open, trade down for the Judas swing manipulation, trade up, and possibly close up here. Let's see what happens though. So. Boom, price open, traded down, Judas swing manipulation, rallied accumulation, but it didn't take out the high. Let's see if price will support this low and take out this high up here. Ooh, I accidentally pressed play. Uh, we didn't want to see all of that. Well, now we know that it's going down, damn it. But you can see here that price actually violated here. And this is a significant candle. So now we're looking at it like, okay, right now our bias is neutral. Because <clears throat> it traded down um, something with significance. Then bias may be flipping, so go neutral, yes. Not every day is going to be an up close candle so we will hunt intraday with that in mind again so right now price could be taking off from this level retracing down let's see what happens okay so once pr price ran into this liquidity here ran out this liquidity here price created this swing high right here this fourth day created that wick, boom, created that. We could be bearish now and we could see price target here, target here, or target this swing right here. Okay. And price can open, rally up, Judas swing manipulation. You want to get in on a sale, rally down. And you want to, you know, obviously take your profits here, but. We could see this low get taken out. This high gets uh, supported as resistance. 
ultimately targeting these lows right here. Okay, so got taken out, got supported. Now this is new one, new low. We want to see this low get taken out, ultimately run out this liquidity here. We want to see this high supported. Okay, so it got taken out there. What is price doing right now? Well, as I recognize right now, whenever price took out this, price didn't enter a retracement phase. Again, remember, anytime daily runs out sell side or buy side liquidity, it's likely to either retrace back into the range or reverse. So in this situation, price could have retraced back into the range here. It could have been held right here at this fair value gap where price could have continued buying up. Instead, a market structure shifted with this swing low right here. Once a market structure shifted, price retraced. It's in a retracement phase back up into this internal fair value gap liquidity. So right here, we could be bullish. Once it gets into this liquidity, bias will be neutral. We want to see a swing create. In that fourth candle, we will hunt for a sell. Let's see what happens. There's a creation. Ooh, it created right there. Ultimately, took out this swing right here. Now, this next day, it could either create a Judas swing, sell off again into this fair value gap in liquidity because it's actually pretty close or it can actually just take out this high right here and this will be a second market structure shift let's see what happens so open judas swing rallied up well manipulation to up and then it rallied off so we could have got in on a sell there took out this one right here now we could see it either come up retrace back up into this range or it can continue selling off here. And so we would anticipate a, we could either be bear, uh, neutral bias, or we could continue to hold our bearish bias and anticipate a Judas swing up manipulation move where we could get in on a sell, sell it off on the rally. Boom, and look at exactly what it did. Judas manipulated up, sold off, rallied off straight into this. Now we could see a swing low because there's not really any liquidity to the left that we could target. Now we could see a swing low get created. And on that fourth candle, we could look to buy. Boom, there's the swing low, the three candles right here. Now this fourth candle, we want to see it open, manipulate down due to swing where we could get in on a buy. Target previous day's high. Take it out, and ultimately, we want to see price. We'll delete all this. We want to see price either, it can either come up in here, a market structure shift. This is our market structure shift point, or it can retrace up into this liquidity. Fair value gap or this liquidity fair value gap, where once it taps into that, we could see the same, a three candle swing high form, and that fourth candle, we could see a sell off. We'll see what happens. Okay, so price open, manipulated down, Judas swing, we could have bought, took out that high here. Now we wanna see this high get taken out, this low supported. See what happens, boom. So what happened here was price ran out this low, ran out this high. So now it ran into this fair value gap. We could potentially see a reversal incoming because again, remember, very rarely do you see the previous day's high and low both traded through. If it does, it's usually indecisiveness or it's going to be a reversal soon and it's clearing the board on both sides of the marketplace. So prepare yourself for a potential reversal. So bias in this situation will be neutral. Our idea is invalidated. Okay. So right now we want to see what happens if a candle closes over here, the wick is lower. That's a swing high and we could see the next candle go down. Let's see. Okay. So right here. 
swing high is formed with these three candles. Boom, boom, boom. So now we want to see this low traded through. Ultimately, this liquidity traded through. Let's see what happens. Nope. Instead, it took out this high right here. And again, let's just remind ourselves. Get over the concern about being right every time. Put aside the idea of perfection. You're not going to have it perfect. You will always find reasons to be wrong. Embrace imperfection. Embrace the idea that you do not have to know everything. You don't have to be right. Being right is not equivalent to being profitable. That's important. So with this being said, right now, our bias is neutral. We literally have no idea what price is doing. Is price going to take out the liquidity here? Is price going to continue to retrace up? Let's see what happens. See, it took out both sides. We are still neutral. Boom, this traded down with significance. Took out this low here. Created this swing high right here. What are we going to do? We are going to anticipate that this next day is going to open due to swing up. Manipulation. We will get in on a sell. Sell off ultimately into this swing low right here. Liquidity. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we came up. Didn't really do much, but we respected that high right there. Supported as resistance. Let's see if this high gets supported as resistance. I still want to see this low get taken out. Let's see what happens. Boom. There it is. Took out the liquidity here. Took out the low. High was supported. This is exactly how you read daily bias. This is how you master daily bias. This checklist alone provides you everything you need to know for daily bias. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys next time.